Hello. Are you ready, Julie? Hello, Transan fans! Welcome to Transistor Sandwich, where I use a hodgepodge of hardware and software to whip up some tunes that you are free to use in your own projects. Tonight is a special occasion because I'm celebrating my birthday, I am. I am years old. That's gonna be bleeped. People are gonna think that I was cursing. So, in celebration of the birthday, I have a little shot with my producer, Julie. Cheers. Oh my God, that is wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's coarse stuff. It's supposed to be smooth, Julie. Did I do something wrong? Was I supposed to have something with it? Nope. That was tequila. And I was supposed to do the bleh and the um, salt and then followed up by the lemon. Wow, there, I was missing a half a dozen different things in that. All right, so what are we gonna do tonight, Julie? Oh, I don't even have any synths set up on this. Well, that's fine. Let me just clear off my desktop. <gasps> Am I, I hear, I understand that I'm going out later after the show for a little celebration. I'll be, I'll be going out to do some karaoke, but that's later. For now, I can sing right here. Oh, I was so happy to get back to my keyboards from my vacation. The first thing I did when I got in the door was walk right over to my piano and start playing. I missed my keyboards when I came home. I ran right up to them. Why am I singing it? Life should be a musical. So yeah, that's why we have soundtracks in movies because nobody knows what the heck is going on if they're not there. So what I was going to do today, I thought, okay, so I'm celebrating my birthday, so I thought I would, oh crap. So if I tell them what year I'm going to look up for the top 100 billboard songs of that year, they're gonna know how old I am. So there's no point in bleeping it out now. I'm gonna do some tunage creation by looking up the Billboard Top 100 songs for 1970. All right, so Top 100 songs of 1970, uh, according to Billboard, so the number one song was Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water. I'm looking for a tune to inspire me. I want to listen to the tune, see if I can pick up on a melody or something, and uh, create a tune around that. Carpenters, Guess Who, BJ Thomas, Diana Ross. Now see, a lot of these I am actually familiar with. I wonder if I pick one that there's no possible way I could know it. So Fred Payne, Band of Gold. All right, so I'm going to go to YouTube, and I'm going to look for Fred Payne, P-A-Y-N-E. Fred P-A-Y-N-E, Band of Gold. It, do, it doesn't sound like a song, it sounds like a band. Band of Gold. Let's see what it brings up here. Mm, 1970 vinyl. All right, well, there's no music video to go with it, but uh, now I have to listen to the, I'm gonna listen to this Band of Gold by Fred Payne. Well, I kind of, I like that lick, so I can use that to create a song. All right, so Julie and I heard it. Nobody else heard it, hopefully. Don't want to get a copyright strike. Um, so now that I've heard that, so this is what I heard. Oh, that would sound cool with a bass. That would be a great bass line. This is a tone called rich brassy analog silk. So I'm gonna mix that with an electric bass. Is that a happy birthday banner? Bring it over. Oh wow, you made it look like it was such an arms band. She's like, oh. Will it stick up here? It looks like it would be static clingy. 
You've got tape. There. We've got one there. And one right there. There. There you go. Yay. Right. That is the most time that you've spent on camera, Julie. Now I know. So I want to duplicate that section. I'm going to take those notes and I'm going to shift them up. It will be in the settings, the track settings, where I can actually transpose it. Ha ha! So if I go up a third. So I want, I want to go up to C. So one, two, three, four, five semitones. See, music is just math, people. So if I play the two of those together now. Okay, I got something going there. Now I can start adding some pieces to that. It's grooving. I like it. <laughs> and that was inspired by Band of Gold by Fred Payne in 1970. Now, let's get the Korg in on the action here, only because I have a camera set up pointing at it. Something like that. My plus sign disappeared. There's a little plus right at the bottom that lets you add a new track. <laughs> oh, I think I need another shot of tequila. Oh, we need a name for the soon. We will call this Gold Rush. Gold Rush? Actually, you know what? It's relevant. It's relevant. Okay, hear me out. I come from a little place, a little village, actually I don't even think you can call it a village, a little inlet called Alaska, Alaska Prince Edward Island. And it was named Alaska during the gold rush, the gold rush in Alaska. Let's call this Gold Rush 1970. What the hell happened there? <laughs> that that sounded like that sounded like a bug. What? Oh, my sign fell down. There. I don't think uh, Scotch tape sticks to this flag very well. <laughs> it may not have been the best approach to that, but there, it's back up. We're doing good. It's up. Yep. Come on in, Julie. You missed a lot of action there. The, the happy birthday sign fell down. It was end of the world kind of stuff. Oh, okay. I'm like, what are you reaching for? Ah, tequila. Yes. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, God. That's delicious. That's why I feel so warm. It's all the tequila, I think. <laughs> we
kept looking back wondering, when the hell does the song end? <laughs> this may be a fader song. They're all loop songs. This is why I do them uh, very metronomy. The, oh, I gotta take my voice out of there, it's driving me nuts. Yeah, these are all loopable songs. The, the, the good part of that is that you can, when you take these songs to use them in your stuff, you can actually take them and loop them well to help them last throughout your video if you need, if that's what you need. If you only need a short junk, that's cool too. All right, uh, that's cool. It needs some pads to go with it. Songs like this always need pads to kind of, like strings, strings are pads. That could work. I'm digging that, so I can do that. In the meantime, let's look for an arpeggiator. Oh, and there's one called 70s synth arp. It's gotta be that one. I am losing track of myself. I hear a tequila bottle opening. Yes, please, sir. May I have another? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oddly enough, that time it was easier. <laughs> Oh, delayed reaction. Oh God, it burns going down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Aftertaste. Yeah. All right, let's get that arpeggiator in there, shall we? I've got stuff. The song is long enough that I can do a solo. I get a little lead part up here. Digital analog, what is that? Oh my lord! It says Doctor Who! I love it! Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, I gotta blow these candles out. Look at that, it's a TARDIS. That is awesome. Thank you, the cake queen. If anybody wants to get like awesome cakes like this and cupcakes and all that kind of stuff, thecakequeen.com. Well, check that out, guys. That is fantastic. Birthday in style with, with the doctor. Well, somebody's gotta take the cake. I can't play with a cake in my hands. Actually, I probably could. Oh, crap. There, that's what I can play with a cake in my hands. That was awesome. Thanks, guys. You know what this means, Julie? This is the end of our show. The rest of the party begins now as we go out to uh, properly celebrate my birthday. Probably not too many more of those tequila shots, seeing how we did a few here. <laughs> but definitely some of that fan fantastic cake from thecakequeen.com. So if you guys want one of those, check that out. So until next time, thank you to everyone and have a great Saturday night. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you really did, why not hit subscribe? And if you'd like to know when the next video is posted, ring that bell for notifications. And don't forget, you can download the songs created on the show at transistorsandwich.com, free to use in your own projects.